Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a first look at the new Photos app for Windows 11. The app is similar to the previous version that we've seen in Windows 10, but the new one has an updated interface that matches the Windows 11 design language with render corners, new animations, floating controls, and more. For example, now selecting an image will open taking the entire canvas of the application, and a new floating toolbar will give you access to the commands. And at the bottom, you will find a tray that surfaces additional image that you can select to view images side by side that allows you to identify the duplicates once and you can actually delete them by hovering over and clicking the delete button. And there's also an option to add that picture to your favorite list. But at the time of this recording, the button seems not to be working. On this new version of the Photos app for Windows 11 has the full screen button right at the top right corner and as part of the controls you now have a new button to see all your favorite pictures. You can still have the uh, options to zoom in and zoom out, rotate and this is a new button to edit and there is a new feature that allows us to annotate a picture so you can use the a different pen and highlighter you can save it and you can erase the different actions you can also delete the picture from here on set it as your favorite you can also see file information like you used to be in the past and that will open on the right side you can actually see the new iconography also that matches the iconography that we're seeing on Windows 11. As part of the uh, See More menu, you can save, print, copy to clipboard, resize the image, just like it used to be in the past. You can also set the image as a background for the desktop or the lock screen. You can, you can use the slideshow option and you have some additional options and as you can see at the bottom there is an option to get extensions for the photos app but this will actually open the microsoft store and it will just suggest to get different apps for editing photos so i'm not sure if in the future we actually are going to see extensions that will plug into the app instead of just using a different app to edit a picture or a video if we try to edit the image, the experience is exactly the same as the one that we used to see on Windows 10. We got the option to, to crop and you can still use filters and adjust different lighting conditions. And we have different options and also we have the option to remove the red eye and a spot fix. You can save it as a copy or you can just save it directly into the file and of course you can always undo the changes the video editor continues to be the same as before the only thing that's a little bit different is the interface which has been updated in the same way as the rest of the application to look more like it belongs to windows 11 and that's it pretty much the application is still the same as the one you used to see on windows 10 just the the interface has been updated so it feels more like it belongs to Windows 11. And that's it. So that's an early look to the new Photos app. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.